Hi, I'm Dawn Prohovnik and I am a children's author. I've written several picture books for kids. My earliest books were in a series called Storytime with Signs and Rhymes and these are books that incorporate American Sign Language and early childhood language concepts. My most recent books are two really fun picture books. Where does a cowgirl go potty and where does a pirate go potty? These are illustrated by Jacob Suva and written by me and they are so much fun to read. But today the reason I am here is to share with you a book that is really special to me. It is called Oregon Reads Aloud. This is a book that was um, written as a special project to celebrate Smart Reading's 25th anniversary. They're a children's um, nonprofit that's a literacy nonprofit here in Oregon. 25 Oregon authors and artists contributed their stories and their artwork to this project and it was published by Graphic Arts. And the book that I'll be reading to you today is called First Aid Jitters. It's a book about starting school, but what's unique is it's about starting school in Oregon. The other thing that's unique about this story is that you'll have an opportunity to learn some American Sign Language. So when you hear the word smart, you can sign smart. You'll also hear the word fun and you'll tap your nose and tap your hands fun. And then we'll have an opportunity to finger spell Oregon together. So this is First Day Jitters. It's written by me. I'm Dawn Prohovnik. It's illustrated by Abigail Marble and it goes like this. First Day Jitters, wide awake. Topsy turvy tummy ache, lumpy oatmeal, eat it slow, need to hurry, time to go. Rainy sidewalk, wave goodbye, noisy bus ride, feeling shy. Giant hallway, crowded room, heart cur thumping, boom, boom, boom. Do you ever have that feeling where your heart's nervous? You have a big booming sound in it. I have that feeling too sometimes. Find my classroom, spot my hook, meet my teacher, Mrs. Cook. Draw a picture, write my name, play a get to know you game. Cut some paper, squeeze the glue, color in the gold and blue. The reason I chose those colors is that those are the colors in the state flag for Oregon. Choose a geode from the box. Learn that thunder eggs are rocks. They're the state rock here in Oregon. Dig for treasures in the sand. Hold a fossil in my hand. Paint a landmark crater lake. Oops, I made a big mistake. Messy fingers drip, drip, drip. Soggy sneakers slip, slip, slip. Sticky bandage. Salty tear, wish my friends from home were here. Pet the hamster, water plants, feed the salmon, watch the ants. Belly rumbles, time for lunch. Sandwich, carrots, fruity punch. Put the compost in the bin. Wipe the jelly off my chin. Join the line to go outside. Climb the rock wall. Brave the slide, twirl a jump rope, spin and drop, skip and gallop, hop, 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 laugh and giggle with new friends, hold a hand when recess ends, quiet voices, carpet time, read a story, chant a rhyme. Maybe the story you'll read is this one. Learn the signs for smart and fun. Remember we said we're going to do that? Learn the sign for smart, and fun and practice spelling Oregon. And we're going to say O R E G O N. That's Oregon in American Sign Language. And in the illustrations, you can see that Abigail Marble included some pictures in the story for the finger spelling for Oregon. Count the pennies, stack the blocks, set the hands on tiny clocks. Time for cleanup, choose a chore, coats and backpacks out the door. 
find my school bus, step right on, first day jitters, gone, gone, gone. And that is my story, First Day Jitters, written by me. I'm Dawn Prohovnik, illustrated by Abigail Marble, and part of 25 Read Aloud stories here in Oregon Reads Aloud. That means there's 24 other stories that you should try to read. And if you want to get your own copy of this book, you could contact your uh, local independent bookseller. You could either make a phone call with a grown-up or um, you and a grown-up could visit the website of your local independent bookstore. You could also visit a website called bookshop.org and that's a way that you could order the books um, that you want to be reading aloud in your family, order them um, online, but through an independent bookstore. So I have had so much fun reading with you today during this time of social distancing when we're staying home more. Reading is a great activity to do together. Oregon Reads Aloud is a wonderful book that supports literacy in the state of Oregon. Um, so I hope you'll get yourself a copy and I hope you enjoyed reading with me. I know I sure enjoyed reading with you. Thanks. Bye-bye. If you're looking for more fun activities, be sure to visit my website, www.donprohovnik.com.